Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna get right into it today, YouTube golf news video. Hit that subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed, like 60% of you watching these videos aren't subscribed. I don't know why, just hit it, it's free. All right, uh, this is something that has been highly requested for me to talk about that I have to this point. Because to this point, this topic has been like hidden Instagram stories and creepy TikToks film from like 600 yards away of what potentially seemed like maybe a private off-camera thing, right? Garrett, GM Golf, Corinna, Koff, their relationship was something that I wasn't just going to talk about as a relationship because if it was going to be something that was intentionally kept off camera, I'm not like, that's not what I'm here to do, right? But, but when it becomes part of the YouTube golf ecosystem, AKA when she is in good, good videos, the road trip, when she is in titles, thumbnails, videos of GM golf, multiple now, multiple videos, you best believe I'm talking about it because there are some implications here and some things you don't know about the effects on the world of YouTube golf. Okay, so like I said, this has been something that has been kind of floating around the interwebs for like a month, month and a half, two months now, whatever. It was definitely like the most rumored during the Good Good Tour because I think people saw the bus and her on the bus and maybe pictures or whatever. And then obviously at the meetup, the whole where's Corinna thing. I mean, I was there live in person. Literally every time Garrett stepped up to hit the ball in the first like two, three holes, it was all just like Corinna common. And he knew it was coming. I asked him about it at the meetup. He said he knew it was coming. Anyways, to that point, it hadn't been like super, super publicly out there. It had just been kind of rumored. But following that, the upload of the Google videos plus GM golf videos, it's very much a public thing now. They haven't like come out and said we're like dating or anything, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I don't really care about that. What I care about is the fact that there is this mainstream influencer in Corinna Kopp, a OG influencer. I shouldn't have that old, but Corinna Kopp, for those of you guys who don't know, is not just like this Instagram model type person. She was part of the vlog squad. She was part of David, she was an integral part, especially in the later years of David Dobrik's vlog squad. David Dobrik, if you don't know, is one of the most successful YouTubers of all time. Like literally, he reinvented the vlogging format. He came after Casey Neistat. He brought the videos down, super short length, four minutes and 20 seconds, every single video. They were high paced, high octane, in your face, like stunt, clip, stunt, clip, moment, just over and over and over again. And she was a very key player in those videos, especially towards the end. And they were the pinnacle of YouTube fame. Like this was still as Mr. Beast was on his come up. Like I would very much argue David Dobrik was the most famous YouTuber and the vlog squad was the most famous group on YouTube. And so now seeing a member of that cross over into this YouTube golf world, like, so I guess kind of the backstory a little bit from how I understand it is that Corinna is big into gaming. She does gaming and gaming streaming, but her and a group of other gamers recently have gotten into golf started playing it, started filming it a little bit. It was her and a big group of gamers. And so I think that's where like the bleed over crossover came where she kind of met Garrett probably through connections and, and management and all that kind of stuff. But there was kind of that crossover. Maybe she started watching YouTube golf, I don't know, and connected with him. So we had this like shift in the world, which I don't think has really happened before where you've had a massive mainstream creator. I mean. Chandler from Mr. Beast coming on to Buster Jack's videos was maybe the closest thing, but I don't think he has the same type of pull. Corinna's pull, like the following behind her and how influential she was before coming into this YouTube golf space, it's huge. Okay, why is it huge, Nate? Why does it matter for you non-YouTube nerds? As golf continues to grow, the biggest media outlet for golf now is YouTube golf. The biggest outlet to like, I'm a golfer, watch me golf, whatever, it's YouTube golf. It's not Instagram. It's not TikTok. It's YouTube golf. That is where all the eyeballs are. That is where people are bringing the most amount of attention and pull and money. It's YouTube golf. And so having these more like mainstream, I don't even call it mainstream celebrity, obviously, but like mainstream YouTube celebrity, I guess, like not so niche coming over, crossing over. It's just going to expand this whole thing as the flag boy, the pole bearer of YouTube golf, the guy who just wants to keep trucking this thing forward. This is huge. This is super exciting. So that's why I waited to talk about it and I haven't talked about it to now. And that's what you don't know is the fact that this is really going to have a massive impact going forward in YouTube golf. So that's really cool. 
we have them, Garrett, Garrett and Corinna, Fat Perez, his wife, and then Bob and Paige. I don't know how to say her last name, Renee, Paige Renee. She's been on the Bob the Sports channel a couple times. Those uh, those six people, I don't want to say three cup, 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 because I don't know. I'm not going to put words in anyone's mouth here, but there are three girls and three boys. Uh, one of the girls and boys are married. One of them have been in a lot of videos together and are pretty seemingly dating. And then the other two, I don't know, they've just been in videos, but they're all down in Jupiter, Florida in an Airbnb together right now. And yeah, you know, uh, Bob the Sports is moving down there. Garrett's not moving down there, but it's a good place to have golf content. So yeah, interesting things are happening, man. Interesting things happen in the YouTube golf space. But you know what? To close this all up, these guys understand what is most important in this YouTube world, which is numbies. These guys know numbies. These guys know how to get numbies. Numbies, if you don't know, numbers, views, clicks. People want to click on a video. That's Garrett and Corinna. They did such a good job of teasing it and building up the anticipation to finally drop a nuke on Garrett's channel, which was their first video. I was texting with Ryder about it, like, bro, this is gonna go one at 10. Like, I was so excited. He was talking to me about it before it dropped. Like, this is, I mean, these guys just know what they're doing. They got the finger on the pulse. They know what they're doing. It's super exciting. So yeah, shout out to them. Shout out to YouTube Golf. Let's go to the moon, baby.